Welcome to Speaking with Kate. And today's is going to be a little bit different. Um, I want to give people a little bit of time to catch up with the recording. Um, I am expecting Jo to come. She's not here yet. And Mickey is not going to be able to be on Zoom with us because she is she has no internet right now. So she'll be using cell service and she'll be popping in on Facebook um, chatting with the rest of you. So um, I guess we'll get started. Um, tomorrow is actually the new moon. And a month ago when we were here, we went into our creation room and we created a touchstone. So I have my touchstone with me right here. And my intention with this touchstone was to connect to all that is, to connect to that spiritual, very strong connection. And I have been using this touchstone every single day. I meditate with it. Sometimes I just kind of hang on to it, you know. So I brought it over here so that we can be reminded that just because another moon cycle has gone by, we can still use this. Now, I'm hoping that Nikki is able to join us on the chat um, because she's the one that really knows the astrology. So tomorrow is the new moon and there is going to be a solar annual eclipse. And it, it really is a wake-up call for everybody. You know, we set our intentions and uh, during this period, but this is like big. Now, I don't know how anybody else has been feeling, but the last two weeks since we were here for the full moon, um, it, it's, it's, it's felt like, I don't know, there's just a little wave in the normal feeling of the universe. Uh, like what's happening with Mickey, there is a lot of technical glitches going on, crazy technical glitches. Um, okay, who do we have? Oh, there's Mickey. She goes, ha ha, I thought about that, but think it's a slow way to make a point. Okay. All right. Um, oh, so I read that. Hopefully, Mickey can join us. Joe just walked in. Did you close the door, Joe? No, do you want me to? Yeah, because I was just waiting for okay. you to come in. <laughs> Joe is here. It's a little chilly over here in New York. So, and, and the people across the street were playing very loud music right before I started. Yeah. So, anyway, um, there is, now let me think, there is six planets they're in retrograde right now so so we are going through a lot of technical glitches a lot of uh, ripples in the force let's say I, I know i have felt very strange the last two days y yesterday especially you know i called mickey and i'm like mickey what's going on with the astrology stuff because just everything felt really off um I ended up sitting outside and reading. I was actually reading Autobiography of a Yogi, which is wonderful reading material for anybody that's looking for a new book. And um, as I was sitting out there, I realized that the sun was absolutely rejuvenating me. So I, I do suffer in the winter time living in New York from SAD. and. Um, and it felt like that was starting already, but our time change hasn't happened yet. So I have to assume that it's this retrograde stuff maybe going on. I don't, I don't know. So who do we have on? Oh my goodness. It, Joe, can you see us on there? It says this live video has ended. Oh, what? Oh, I, you know, I, I I mean, I'm, I am recording this on Zoom and Joe is checking for us to make sure it's on because I see no people on. Oh, so you see it. All right, so we are live still. <laughs> yes, that's okay. Um, oh, hi, Joanne, she sees me. Hi, <laughs> love you. 
Well, it, it's so bizarre because it, it's just the retrograde just plays havoc with our electronic devices. So, so for me looking at it, it says that the video ended. So I'm just going to stop looking at that and I'll just look at the texting from now on. So I don't know, Joanne, are you feeling any of this um, ripple in the force, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like, I don't get the crying. You're emotional? Yeah. Okay, well, okay, good. I'm glad you mentioned that because it, it the moon is all about emotions. <laughs> the moon is all about emotions. So, so when you have heightened um, energy and then you add the emotional moon to it, y yes, crying um, could, could be any kind of emotions, you know. Great time to fall in love, too. <laughs> so told. Yeah, great time. So, um, Joanne, how about you on Facebook? Any any ideas or any thoughts about it? Um, and please, anybody that's on, feel free to post questions or um how how you're feeling. But during this new moon, I mean this is leading up to the event tomorrow. So this is a good time to, we want to release a lot of stuff. So when we do our journey today, it is going to be a lot of protection, releasing, and, and really giving ourselves love. Um, it's, it's gonna be more of an inner journey than a go visiting journey, I think today. Um, at least that's the way I feel. I know every morning I look in the mirror and I say, Kate, I love you. You are wrapped in a golden bubble of light of protection. And, and, and that really does help. And it also helps to go out in the sun. True, true, truth. Truth. It's not really any today. No, well, but there is and there isn't. So it, it's still, even though there's clouds, it, it, it's still the effects of the sun is there, the effects of the moon is there, the effects of the planet is there. I mean, it just, it comes right through those clouds. It really does. Lynette Cartwright is watching. Oh, hi, Lynette. <laughs> oh. All right. Miss Mickey, are you seeing us, hearing us? I, and I can't see anybody watching, so it's kind of kind of crazy that, you know, here I am. Oh, oh, there's Lynette. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you guys on. Um, so just know that it's a time that, you know, planets are in retrograde, which means they are moving slower than we're moving, so they appear to be going backwards. So things kind of get flipped and get a little wonky, especially with our electronic devices. So, you know, I, I would say stay away from them, but here I can't, you know, I'm, I have to do this. Um, Joanne Fairbanks said, I have found a lot of clarity lately and the urge to drive into myself and ask ever I tr whatever I truly want. A few days ago, I missed an opportunity due to miscommunications and I'm trying not to dwell. That, that's, that's good. Don't dwell on it. Um, it's a missed opportunity. There's a reason for it. You know, things don't just happen like that. So there's no need to beat yourself up or dwell on it. There was a reason why it was missed. Either something better is going to come along or it's going to come along at a better time. So trust, trust in timing, divine timing. I love it. Thank you, Joe. Ah. Oh. What else? What else? So this is a time that we want to clear um, uh, and we want we want to clear our emotions. We want to clear our auras and we want to set our intentions for the next moon cycle, whatever that may be. So you can use your touchstone to set a new intention or you can use the same intention. Um, I think I want to keep the same one for myself. It's, it's been serving me very well and I may just create a new one. Um, but you have the tools that are in your um, creation room, your lab, 
and and you can you know, create any other tools that you might need and if you're not sure about those you know we will go through it today again a little bit but if you want in details ones go back to the old journeys and you know start them at journey number one and go through the journeys and where we built everything in our room so our creation room has two tv screens and a big desk there is a healing table which i think we're going to use today and um, there is a refrigerator that has you know different kind of tools that we can use um, things that we've created uh, they could be herbs they could be you know whatever <sighs> mickey is on she said found you folks at last hi mickey i miss you <laughs> It doesn't quite feel the same without you. I feel like I'm rambling. Oh, Joe, Joe says, you're not, Kate. I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm rambling, and I talk too much, and I don't feel like I'm rambling, so. <laughs> uh. All right, Mickey, so I kind of told them that we've got six planets in retrograde, and and the internet is just working wonky. Um, you don't have internet, so that's why you are on the chat. Is there anybody else on? Oh, Mickey's laughing. She says, ha, ha, ha. It's hard to have a conversation all by yourself. <laughs> Jo Joanne is sitting here laughing at me. <laughs> She's giggling yet. <laughs> Today feels like a good day, though, and I guess there's like another week worth of stuff happening. So this it's not something that's just going to go away tomorrow. So, you know, we, we need to be conscious of it. And um, so try not to do a lot of technical stuff, unlike me that's sitting here live. And, um, uh, and, and have your intentions set for what you want to bring in to the next moon cycle, whatever that may be. All right. Well, I think maybe, maybe we should just jump right into the meditation. And I knew this was going to happen because there's only been one other time that Mickey couldn't join us. And it was the quickest one we've ever done because I just jumped right into the meditation. And then maybe, oh, oh, here she says, Mickey says, this is a way to gain a new perspective for me. <laughs> and... Joe says, I wanted to tell you in person, thank you for helping my son. So she was responding to Mickey. Ah, I love this group. It is, it is so heartwarming. So. So what I would like for everybody to do is just sit back and relax and make sure that your head is supported wherever you're sitting whether you're lying down or in a recliner just just you don't want your neck to be wobbling so support your neck and close your eyes and let's take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and begin in and out. And I just want you to relax, put all the troubles of the day behind you. You're just going to take a little time for yourself today, a little time for healing, a little time for protection, a little time for some growth. And we're going to go within. We're going to start this by using our three to one count that we always use. So I would like for you to, um, you can say it out loud or say it um, silently to yourself, but also I would like for you to visualize the number three, three times, and then two, three times, and then one, three times along with me. So take a deep breath in. 
that with each inhale, you go to a deeper place of mind, a more calming place, a place that is within yourself and very healing. Now I would like for you to use your imagination from here forward, and I would like for you to see a staircase in front of you, and it has thick carpeting. And if you're in your bare feet, you can feel it between your toes. It's soft and it's thick and it's warm. And then on the right side, there's a handrail. It's wooden and it goes all the way down the steps. And we're gonna walk down these steps slowly, going deeper and deeper into our heart space. Ready? Let's go. Hold on to that handrail. It is smooth and warm. And step down from the 10th step, nine, eight. Deeper and deeper, seven, six. Deeper, five, four. Deeper and deeper, three, two. Deeper and deeper. One. You are now at the bottom in your meditation room. And for those of you that are new to this journey, your meditation room is just that. It is a beautiful room in your heart space that is warm and inviting, full of love and protection, and it's just for you. Nobody knows what you do in this room. You can say, you can think, you can imagine anything you like. But I would like for you to imagine looking to your right and you see a door, a very ornate door, and that is our quantum jumping door. If you go a little more to the right of that, you'll see that there is an elevator that goes up to our penthouse. Now, Going to the left a little bit, you'll see that there is furniture, a couch, maybe a lounge chair. There's a fireplace down here. Some people have created windows, not others. It's up to you how you decorate. So further to the left wall is a door that goes to our creation room or our lab. That's where we're going to go now. Open that door, go into our creation room, and as we stand there, we have a big desk with a great big chair, and on that desk are two screens, and they're covered with beautiful black velvet drapes. And there's a healing table in this room, there are file cabinets, there's a refrigerator, there's everything that you need to create anything that you can think about. So right now, I think we're going to go over to the healing table. And let's just lie down on that table. Just get comfortable. There are pillows around. Put a pillow under your knees and under your head if you like. But by putting it under your knees, you support your back. And close your eyes and take another deep breath in again and out and relax and just feel any tensions just floating away. Imagine yourself lying on this table knowing that you are protected and you are safe. You, each one of you, are wrapped in a beautiful golden bubble of light. And this light protects you, keeps you safe. And you can imagine this every morning when you get up. You can use emotion.
illusion with your hands to bring it around yourself, or you can just use your imagination and visualize it around yourself. You could also visualize it bigger than that. You can put it around your home, around your car. Use this for your protection. This is a tool. So as we're laying here on this table, we're going to ask for our higher self, our source self, to join with us in this room. This is the self, our all-knowing self, that knows everything about us from the past, the present, the future. All probable selves knows everything about us, our soul source self. And when we ask the source self to be with us and connect with this source self, feel the energy all around you. If you have your touchstone with you, or you can just imagine that you do have it with you, hold that feel that. Now, I'm going to give you time to ask your source self to do whatever healing that they see that you need. Or, of course, you can set your own intentions for what you desire. But we always do this knowing that it's for our highest and greatest good and that our source self knows what that is and trust that our source self will take care of everything for our best good. Now I'm going to give us oh, maybe about five minutes of silence where we can be in this beautiful healing space.
the healing feels so wonderful. Thank your source self for all the healing that has been completed, that has started, and that will be completed. Now, I'd like for you to ask your source self to clear away any, anything that's unneeded, anything that's toxic within you. They could be emotions, they could be memories, they could be feelings. Just allow your higher self to clear your energy field, your aura of anything that you want to release. Okay? So this is a reset time. So anything that you want to release, to get rid of, just allow that to flow out of you. Allow your higher source self to just take that and clear so that you are like new again. Pristine, clean, shiny aura with only positive, beautiful feelings, thoughts, and emotions. And I'm going to give you a few minutes for this. I want you to take your time and really allow this work to happen. Right? You have to release. Let it go. Let it go. that you don't want anymore, that don't serve your highest good, just let them flow out of you. Your higher self knows exactly what to do. You don't have to hold on to any of these anymore. questions or you can just sit hold hands hug join this is your source field, your energy field, is clean, pristine, perfect in every way. It is clear and it is ready for the new cycle to begin. Don't forget to thank your higher source self for cleansing your auric field 
for healing. Yeah. And the healing could have been mental, emotional, physical. Could have been any kind of healing that you needed. Just also know that whatever happens in this space is the right thing at the right time. Right? This is all divine timing. Now, I hope everybody's ready to join me. And you can stand in front of your quantum door and know that on the other side of this door, we want to set the intention that we're going to visit our, our village that we have created in the past and that um, we can visit any of the little buildings. We can visit the um, library or the healing room. Uh, any, any of the little buildings that we had set up in the past or a new one. You, if you might want to be in an art room or a music room. So I want to give us some time to go into that quantum jump. Now, standing in front of the door, set your intention on what you want to experience. Do you want to see a past loved one? Do you want to experience um, learning a new instrument? Do you want to um, learn how to paint a picture? You know, what, what, what would you like to learn or to experience on the other side of that quantum door? So this is where we're going to set this intention, remembering that we are fully healed and we are fully clear. And all possibilities are now in front of us. So set that intention. And I'm going to count to three. And on the count of three, that door is going to open outward and you're going to be able to jump or walk or step or fly right out that quantum door. Ready? One, two, three. The door is open. And go ahead out and explore your intention. And I'm going to give us a few minutes to do just that. Oh, wonderful. 
to be able to realize our intentions in this place where all we have to do is think about it and it manifests immediately. We know that this is always possible. Manifesting is happening faster and faster. The more that you meditate, the more that you believe, the more that you're sure that this works. It works just like it does here in our quantum world. So let's think about gathering now back in the little, little landing outside of our quantum door, still in the quantum world. And if you have joined with a friend or your source or a loved one, you can bring them with you. Just gather here together, all of us, in a group. And thank our helpers, our guides, our source, and each other. Especially thank yourself for showing up for you. It's so important. Feel the love that we create when we join together in these spaces. And even though we end up coming back to the room eventually, <coughs> we hold this love, compassion. It's always here. And you can come to this space anytime you want. So thank all your helpers and thank yourself thank each other. And when you're ready, we're going to come back into our meditation room. So step back through that quantum door. And again, I'm going to count to three. And when I get to three, that door is going to close behind you for now until you're ready to open it again. One, two, your meditation room safe your fire is there you're in your heart space nothing can harm you here and know that you can come here anytime you like day or night in dream time and wake time you can spend a minute here an hour here whatever you like you can even come down here take a nap. That's okay too. I want to thank you all for joining me on this journey. And I'm going to count us out now. And I would like for you to just start to wiggle your toes and fingers and maybe stretch a little bit. We're going to take a deep breath in and out. Another deep breath in and out and I'm going to count up to the number five and when I get to five you're going to open your eyes and you're going to be wide awake and you are going to remember everything that happened you're going to remember the healing the cleansing of your aura you're going to remember any tools that you used any touchstones you created you're going to remember your source self and the visit and the intentions that you set when you went through your quantum door. And you're going to remember the feeling of unity, that this community is all together and full of love for each other and camaraderie. All right, I'm going to count us up now to five. One, two, now stretch a little bit more. I'm starting to come on out of this. Three, four, and five. Open your eyes. Wide awake. Wide awake, feeling wonderful, like you had a wonderful nap. Welcome back. Um, okay, that was pretty nice. I feel like a million bucks right now. Um, let me read a couple of comments that came in. 
Uh, Martin has joined us. Finally found you all. Yay. Facebook was hiding it from me again. Oh, poor Martin. Lee joined us a little late. Well, that's okay. And, uh, oh, Mickey said, thanks, Kate. It was lovely. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it, Mickey. No, ma'am. <laughs> Joe, Joe just asked, was I snoring? I said, no, you weren't. No, no, I didn't hear any noise. I think Joe, Joe had a tickle in her throat, though, and she tried really hard not to cough. <laughs> and that's okay. That's all right. I, I try to, you know, be aware of what's happening kind of around me, but no, it was all very good. Oh, so now that we have healed our bodies and our minds and our emotions and we've cleared out all the negativity, we are ready to tackle this new moon. Um, what do you think, Mickey? <laughs> Does anybody want to share any experiences they had? Um, how was the healing for everybody? You know, sometimes you can actually hear like cracking and adjusting and um, healing that it's very, very physical. Um, sometimes it's just emotional clearing and just a peace that comes over you. Um, but know that whatever happens, it was exactly right, just what you needed, just at the right time. I heard myself snoring. Joe jo thinks that it was a nap for her. She said she she remembers herself snoring, but she clearly did not snore. But we'll listen to this and we'll hear it if <laughs> if, if I even missed it. So I guess I I, I don't know. Um, I held my touchstone the whole time. Um, the connection to the source self, the God self, is really what I've been working on for the last month. And I, I think it's so significant that I have a tangible connection that I can hold or I can walk around with. And it, it's small enough that, you know, I can. And it, you know, when I first picked it up, it was ice cold. It is like so hot right now. It's ridiculous. It's, it's super hot. So I don't know what that means. It means that my crystal has been activated. You know, that's how it feels. It is cool. It is cool. So, well, I'm going to say this will be on Facebook. It will also, I'll be putting it on YouTube. And if anybody wants to comment more or say anything else, um, I think that, you know, you can put your comments in whenever that might be. Now I'm just pulling up the calendar to see the actual new moon is going to be at 1.55 p.m. tomorrow um, on the East Coast. Um, and there is, and I, you know, I, I pulled up the trajectory of the uh, eclipse and we might be able to see a little, little piece of it, but we're on the very fringe of not being able to see it at all. And I know that it is not going to be visible from where Mickey is in Europe. Um, but anybody that's, um, southwest of where we are that's where they're going to be able to see it and there will be a ring of fire so it's whether we can see it or not it is powerful very very powerful yeah okay nikki says i can see how this is an intense process this eclipse So look at it as a reset, you know, the eclipse is just making everything stronger because, you know, you think about this, you've got the sun and then you have the moon in front of it and then the earth is here. So you've got the sun energy, the moon energy and the sun, the sun makes everything bigger. And so now you've got the moon energy that's all that emotional stuff. The sun is just accentuating that, making it bigger and bigger. I hope I'm saying this right, Mickey.
Martin says, when the door opened, something picked me up off my feet and swooshed me right inside. Ooh, nice. Martin, you always have the best adventures. I love it. Maybe next time we'll visit our, our uh, we, haven't, we haven't visited our penthouse in a long time, our apartment. Yeah, that was a fun place to go. Um, uh, but I hope you enjoy these journeys and I hope you great success with setting your intentions for this new moon. And um, I think I will check into this, but I'm pretty sure there is going to be an eclipse at the full moon as well. So that will be in about two weeks from now. So this is this is this is just a very strong time of sun and earth energies together, right? Along with our six planets that are retrograding and you know, yeah. Yeah. What do you what can I say? I know. And there's so much information on the internet about it. Um, and you know, feel free to post any uh, links that you guys might learn about that would be helpful for people. Um, but I think I'm gonna, you know, draw this to a close. It's 2:20 now, so we've been on for almost an hour. And uh, you know, I, I look forward to seeing you all for the new moon or full moon. I'm so sorry for the full moon in two weeks. And I think that one is going to fall on a Saturday. Um, so we'll be looking forward to seeing it. And maybe we'll even have it later. I'll have to see when the, you know, let me look right now. Let me look. The full moon is, oh, I don't think I know what time it is. Oh, yes, I do. It's at 4.24 p.m. So, you know, maybe the next one, uh, which will be October 28th, maybe we'll move it up to 4 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, and then we could actually be doing it during the full moon lunar eclipse. <gasps> that would be exciting, I think. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Joe thinks it's exciting. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us, and I will see you in two weeks. I will get this up on the website and YouTube as soon as I can edit the video. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.